adaptive radiation. Darwin visited Galapagos Island and there he studied birds which were later named as Darwin's finches. He found out that initially the birds were seed eating but within the island he found out other varieties of the same bird which has turned out to be insectivorous as well as vegetarian. Now you can see this seed eating has turned out to insectivorous and vegetarian thus their beak shape is altered or modified. So this gave this was believed to give us adaptive radiation that is process of evolution of different species from a point. This is a point from here the process of evolution you can see seed eating has led to formation of insectivorous and vegetarian. Process of evolution of different species from a point and radiating to other areas of geography is known as adaptive radiation. Another example of this adaptive radiation is Australian marsupials. Australian marsupials were found to be different from their ancestors. But they are found to be different within the region of Australia only. This is adaptive radiation. Biological evolution. The rate of appearance of new form is linked to lifespan. Example is microbes. Microbes can divide within minutes or seconds. Hence, their rate of appearance of new form will be very fast whereas in case of wolves, mammals, human beings it will take a long time. Adaptive ability is inherited. The adaptive ability which leads to the ultimate consequence which is fitness and this fitness leads to natural selection select, being selected by nature is inherited. That is genetic bases are involved in Adaptive ability. Lemark also gave us another theory towards it. He said that it's the use and disuse of the organ which leads to whether the organ will be present in next generation or won't be. He gave us the example of giraffe. There are certain few examples even in human beings you can see vestigial organs. The organs which were of use to our ancestors but they are yet present in us. The external ear, appendicitis, sorry, appendix, etc. Evolution is a process or a consequence. If we talk about the story of word, how this word is formed, what were the changes, how they happened, then evolution is a process. But if we talk of the story of life on earth, then evolution is a consequence of the process of word which led to life on earth. Consequence, when we talk, say evolution is a consequence, it is the consequence of process of natural selection which led to the presence of life on earth. 